In this video, we will instruct you on how to perform a fast, simple, and accurate gas calibration for AMI's trace or PPM oxygen analyzers using a certified cylinder of calibration gas. Also, we will show you how to install a new oxygen sensor in the analyzer. This video assumes that all electrical and gas connections have been completed in accordance with the analyzer's operation manual, and all sample gas compression fittings have been thoroughly tested for leaks using SNOOP or equivalent. To perform a proper calibration using span gas, you will need the following. A tank of certified span gas that is approximately 80 ppm oxygen in a background of nitrogen. A brass or stainless steel body regulator with a stainless steel diaphragm outfitted with a CGA 580 tank fitting on the inlet, and a shutoff valve and a 1 quarter inch compression fitting on the outlet. Two pressure gauges for the inlet and outlet of the regulator. A 1 and 1 8 inch open end tank wrench. 1 quarter inch flexible non-diffusive tubing or stainless steel tubing. Never use plastic tubing when connecting span gas to the analyzer. Doing so will allow oxygen to diffuse from the air into the span gas stream, regardless of tank or line pressure. Non-diffusive flexible tubing is available from AMI. For a new oxygen sensor installation or replacement of an existing sensor, you must use a genuine AMI T2 or T4 trace oxygen sensor in its original packaging. Using another brand sensor will void the analyzer warranty. The sensor has been factory sealed with ultra-pure nitrogen to preserve its shelf life and provide a rapid come down time during installation. Do not open the package, exposing the sensor to air, until the pipeline gas is connected, the cell cap is removed, and it is time to install the sensor in the analyzer. To start the sensor replacement process, turn the three-way selector valve to the off position. Remove the cell cap. The sensor pocket will be empty for new analyzers or remove the expired sensor for replacement. Carefully open the sealed sensor bag with a pair of scissors. Remove the sensor using the plastic handle and quickly install into the open sensor pocket. The stainless steel shorting clip and handle should be facing out of the sensor pocket. While holding the sensor in place, pull the stainless steel shorting clip to remove it from the sensor. Quickly reinstall the cell cap and hand tighten. Rotate the three-way selector valve to the sample position and temporarily adjust the flow to 2.0 SCFH on the analyzer's flow meter. A high flow rate and a fast, efficient sensor installation will accelerate the sensor come down time. The total elapsed time from opening the sensor package, installing the sensor, tightening the cell cap, and flowing sample gas should take less than 15 seconds. If this procedure is followed, the oxygen reading should drop below 5 ppm in less than 15 minutes providing the pipeline gas has less than a few ppm of oxygen. If the new sensor is exposed to air longer, it will increase the sensor's recovery time. While the sensor is recovering from the exposure to air, you should perform the block and bleed process of the regulator. A block and bleed is essential and very different from purging a regulator. In a simple purge, gas flows inefficiently through the regulator, leaving trapped residual oxygen within dead legs of the pressure gauges and regulator. A purge will not effectively evacuate the high levels of oxygen left in the regulator and will slowly leach into the calibration gas stream, resulting in significant errors in the calibration process. A proper block and bleed of the regulator starts with the high pressure side of the regulator. With the regulator securely attached to the span gas cylinder, open the gas cylinder valve approximately one half turn, confirming inlet pressure gauge responds to full tank pressure, then close the tank valve. Using the tank wrench, loosen the regulator nut approximately a half turn until inlet pressure gauge drops to zero and quickly retighten the tank nut to the tank. Repeat this process seven times on the high pressure side of the regulator. Next, block and bleed the low pressure side of the regulator by connecting the AMI supplied non-diffusive flexible tubing to the regulator's outlet fitting and the other end to the span gas port. When connecting the tubing's compression fitting to the span gas port, tighten just enough to secure the threads, approximately half of a turn. This will allow the gas to escape during the block and bleed process. Open the span gas cylinder valve one half turn and confirm the high and low pressure gauges show full pressure. Adjust the regulator down to 20 PSIG and close the tank valve. Span gas will escape through the loose span port connection and the pressure gauges will drop to zero. As soon as the gauges drop to zero, repeat this process seven times. During the seventh cycle of bleeding of the low pressure side of the regulator, Fully tighten the span port fitting to finalize the block and bleed process. Performing the block and bleed process should not be necessary again until the regulator has been removed from the tank or a routine calibration seems to read higher than expected. To begin the calibration process, push the alarm hold off button on the analyzer. 
and adjust the time shown in the LCD in minutes using the up or down arrows. This will bypass the analyzer's relay contacts and analog output to prevent an alarm condition for the number of minutes selected. Rotate the three-way gas valve to the span position and adjust the span gas flow to approximately one SCFH. Allow the oxygen measurement reading to stabilize for up to five minutes. Press and release the span button on the analyzer. The span flag on the LCD should begin to blink. Quickly press the up or down arrow buttons to adjust the LCD oxygen reading to match the oxygen level of the certified span gas you are using. If you do not press either the up or down arrow within three to four seconds of pressing the span button, the analyzer will default back into its measurement mode. If this occurs, simply press the span button again and then the up or down arrows as needed. Your calibration is now complete. Rotate the three-way gas valve to the sample position and adjust the flow rate to approximately one SCFH. The oxygen reading will quickly drop the gas pipeline oxygen value. Be sure to close the valve on the outlet side of the regulator to keep the regulator ready for the next calibration without needing to repeat the block and bleed. All electrochemical oxygen sensors will slowly lose sensitivity over time. This fast and simple periodic gas calibration will maintain a high level of accuracy over the entire sensor life. AMI recommends a calibration be performed every 30 to 90 days, depending on the oxygen concentration and upsets in your sample gas stream. Proper installation and calibration of AMI sensors will ensure the accuracy and long-term high performance that AMI analyzers are known for. Let AMI help you with all of your oxygen, hydrogen sulfide, and moisture analyzer needs.